and so we have Ghanaian talented music artist Kobe Sam live on the Praise the Clock show today. Good morning. good morning good morning good morning what's up i'm good man i'm good how about you i'm great i'm great i'm doing awesome this morning all right so first (laughs) off let me ask you yeah uh, most of your pictures that i have seen always has you wearing um eyeglasses um so is that is is that your signature or what what's up with that I, I would say I'd say you're very observant. I, I'd say you're very observant. I'd give you the plus for that. I give you the plus for that. Um, and with the eye, with the with the with the eye glass, uh, sunglasses. I don't know. Um, I just I just I just feel cooler with it. Uh, uh, I just feel cooler with it when right. when I ha- I have it on. Fair. I don't know when I when I normally take pictures without. Sh- Without the sunglasses, I don't really feel cool about it. So what? Yeah, I don't really feel cool about it. So I, I think it's become part of me when I have the glasses on, then I feel cooler. Oh, okay, that's that's cool. It works. It works. It works. <laughs> if it works for you, it works for us. All right, so let's get straight yeah. into it right now. Kobe Salm is with us live on the Praise the Clock Show this morning. You have a brand new album out, and we are gonna talk about that this morning. But I want you to zoom in on this story. Yeah, you talked about losing your mom, and and you trying to you know, occupy yourself with various things like playing games and movies and a lot of things. And then what, how the album In the Midst of Comfort came from that. I would like you to share with us on the show this morning a bit of that experience. Here's why. Because I know a lot of people are dealing with stuff like that. Maybe not loss of a loved one, but maybe it's some situation that has them trying all they can to distract themselves with various things, which is not still working for them. Real, real. So um, it all happened. It all happened when I think I was I was a teenager then. When um, you know how guys and their mom relate, guys and their mom relate. It's very cool mm. than their dad. So myself and my mom were very cool, like extremely cool, where I could I could confide in her with everything. So it happened that I lost her when I was in secondary school, and it was a very big blow to me. Um, I made I made my mom everything that I knew, like she was everything that I I knew and I needed. So um, losing her was a very big blow to me. I could even I didn't have I didn't have that relationship with my dad, so mm. it was quite difficult for me to um, talk to him about certain things. Although he, he tried his possible best to. Mm. Um, be there for us as as especially me as 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 a father but uh, because i the foundation wasn't really built it was quite difficult connecting so i tried my possible best to find love the best way i could find it mm-hmm. and i tried finding love with friends with friends i remember i tried finding love with friends you know friends who be there for a while they show sympathy they show um they 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 they, they see a whole lot of things to console you at, at, at a point at a period of time but when they when after a period they they get over it and life move life moves on mm. same with family and and that was what happened to me so when i realized i wasn't getting that love from family wasn't getting that love from friends i decided to occupy myself with things that growing up i so adored i so loved Mm -hmm. and one was playing video games um it was something that i loved growing up so i decided to go back to it and Mm -hmm. occupy myself with it i I wasn't too much of a movie person but um i did i got some movies too so, so that i could also watch it and to while away the the lonely times but one dawn i woke up and i wasn't feeling for all these things i wasn't feeling for the movie i wasn't feeling for the video game so it dawned on my spirit to pray Mm. so when i was praying when i was praying that dawn a voice told me kobe look around i was in my my little room and a voice told me kobe look around so I, t- I took a good look at all the things that I had acquired for myself to help me kill the loneliness, to help me kill the boredom. And at that point in time, all these things were not making sense at that moment. Mm. And that voice told me, Kobe, you are in the midst of comfort. You are in the midst of things that supposedly should make you comfortable. But 
you are still not comfortable which means that there is something that is way beyond comfort and that is jesus christ that is mm. god and he revealed his, himself to me that point in time and made me know that all these things co- can make us comfortable but they are not mm. um, eternal they are not everything that we need and there is something extra that as humans we should we should fight and we should seek for and there and then i was blessed with it with a song only you can satisfy so on my even on my album it's it's i made an interlude out of it and and put it on my albums so um that was how come we got in, in the midst of comfort which which simply means you being in the midst mm. of everything that mm-hmm. should make you comfortable but you're still not comfortable wow. and that only god can satisfy wow wow that is so yeah. deep you you have no idea <laughs> how inspiring what you just shared is uh, because just yesterday on the show we were talking about how um, one can be in the midst of a lot of people you can have a lot of company and mm. still be lonely lonely yeah, yeah. You, you can be yeah. in a, you can be in a country where there is a, a lot of peace and yet be at war within you know yeah. so yeah. there's something Real. deep that that that's only god can satisfy and that is great can so satisfy. so this what you just shared with me right now gives me even a deeper understanding of the meaning of the name of the album in the midst of comfort yeah, of comfort yeah wow yeah all right let's, uh, initially yeah. initially because i lost my mom i always wanted to dedicate my first album to my mom uh, right but at, at that point in time when i had that revelation when i had that encounter with god i decided no i think let me put that aside this is the what we are doing is the work of god and if god has spoken i mm. think we, we we can never say no we can never say no and as his will surpasses everything that we need so um there mm. and then we decided to go with that title fantastic fantastic all right let's talk about the album real quick yeah uh this yeah. album has 20 tracks that's a lot of tracks for an album these days you know yeah in <laughs> ghana in ghana i'm being bashed no i'm being bashed i'm being bashed oh about it the people saying in COVID times but you know sometimes as i i see i see it as as an artist as an artist the sole aim of an uh, of an artist is to p- provide music to the people. So, um, for 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 a space of four to five years, I've been doing this, and I can say the number of songs that I have in the system is not too many because of my because of the, my work and other responsibilities that I have to um, tackle as as an individual. Mm. So I decided I, I decided to put F to at least put a lot of songs on the album so that as a as, as sort of a compensation to, to, all, to all yeah to <laughs> all the people who have been yearning for my music for all these while right. and i think it's worth it it's worth it that's great it's great stuff Let, let's now talk about the guest appearances on this album yeah we have Ed, um, edem evangelist uh to dark yeah. suburb to uh nana asase to our yeah. our very own NK, to Canton yeah. Jones, uh, and yeah. um, uh, quite a number of guest appearances in there. Can you tell us a bit about your decisions to, your, what influenced the decision to pick these guys and work with them, and how that was? Okay, so um, I am someone who meditates a lot be- um, before I I start um, putting a song together. I do a lot of meditation on the song. I premeditate how the song should sound, the sort of impact I want to, I want the song to carry, and everything. So um, it boils down to which song, the sort of impact, and the sort of um, 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 let's say um, vibe. Let me put it that way: the sort of vibe um, the featured artist would carry or mm. will add to the song. So, and sometimes um, on rare occasion. It comes back to relationship. Okay. So um, when Nana, when Na, Nana Asase um, um, on the on the first song, I think um, the song talks about is a praise song, is a worship song, which which talks about the greatness of God. And Nana Asase is one of the renowned poets in Ghana, um, and he 
he he inter he disintegrates uh, um um words or how should i put it he he praises god in in, in a form that about a, a bit once understanding so then i i can ex- you don't understand chi but i can explain to you that the chi or the local language that was said in the song is not the the normal normal um lo- the normal normal um language that you would probably hear on the street mm. on the streets of Ghana when someone is speaking chi it, it, it goes way deeper it right. goes way deeper than that wow. yeah it goes way deeper than that and that was what i really wanted to carry and um, that was the message i wanted to carry because in ghana when you are given appellations um to to a deity mm-hmm. you 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 need to be very in-depth about it you you need to very be, you need to go very in-depth about it so that people will feel the intensity of whatever message that you're trying to you're trying to send across and that was what i needed on it um good job with 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 canton jones with canton jones um i did i did i, I decided to put canton jones on the on the record because um one first and foremost um from from our side in, in ghana um i think urban gospel exist for a long time it's been it's been around for a long time and we've always adored and we've always um appreciated um all these foreign um um christian rappers who who started this journey Mm -hmm. but so unfortunate for us we've not gotten the chance we've not gotten the opportunity to to feature any of them on a song and we've not gotten the opportunity to also sell urban gospel music to yes so i decided that um as myself and my team we decided that okay we needed to sell urban gospel music to the world and uh, we needed we needed to make it known that s- some genre like that is also in ghana and mm. we have all these sort of artists in ghana and that was why we went for um Canton jones on that record so um and Canton jones is a pastor he carried the same messages that um um, um i also carried on the song so purpose wise it was it was we were on purpose and, and business wise it was it was it was it was it was a deal uh marketing wise also it was a deal nk is, is my friend nk you know mm-hmm. i someone introduced me to nk's music a friend of mine introduced me to nk's music and i fell in love with the kind of sound that i was hearing right. from nk so i i personally hit, hit him up on instagram and so noble of him he replied and that was where our, our relationship started building so before the album release i started um, a school tour here in ghana where i was we touring schools um to 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 let them know about the album it was a pre-notice mm. it was a pre-notice to let them know about the album and also um god being so good we invited nk to come to ghana to join us for the tour and he came you know nk is a very busy man <laughs> um, a, <laughs> mixing his law stuff yeah. with music yeah. is, is a tedious stuff stuff for him but he, he left everything and came to ghana to support us for the tour and it was amazing and and i think one of them um, is one of the songs on the album that is doing amazingly well mm. amazingly well cool. if i would if i would have to talk about the features a lot of features i think we have almost like 16 <laughs> 17 features right on the on the album i'll probably use like two hours to talk about that <laughs> yeah. yeah and we don't have that much time <laughs> all right mm. so yeah but but really fantastic i'm going to ask you some random questions now right uh before we okay, wrap cool. it up but just before we do that um can you tell us a bit about the video that you just dropped you just put out a video for obiara and say well uh tell us about that video what what inspired that okay so i'm getting a lot of bash (laughs) in ghana because of that video the the the, you have no idea basically because of the 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 red stuff on the eye and and stuff like that right yes we i'm getting a lot of bashing people are saying the video um <laughs> has some illuminati stuff on it some occultic stuff uh. in it. and it got to a time we we're even trending in ghana because people were people were saying a whole lot of things but i 
I think um, the purpose, the purpose, you know, God in creation, in in creation, there was arts in creation. Because if you see, if you see how the 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 God created the heavens and He created the earth. If you pick the sand and you put it in in your uh, in your palm and you take a critical look at it, you see diverse or that um, how, how, how should I how should I put it? Mm. Um, particles different different particles they are not the same and it shows how creative and how let me say it shows how creative god is so but when we want to talk when we want to and the song itself talks about the greatness of god so i feel when we want to talk about the greatness of god i want i want myself and the director we wanted to put it in an artistic form the same way god is okay right so i have not I have not explained this, but for the first time, I'll explain this and later take a vi- um, take a, do a video and explain it. So, if you watch the video very well, it has three it has three sceneries. Let me put it: the first scenery is the part where the people are uh, are are blinded with yeah. the red stuff. Yeah, it symbolizes it symbolizes people who are in the dark, who are lost who can see the light okay okay so that is what is that that part of the video symbolizes now the second part of the video is when we we were in the water mm. the part where we're in the water signifies baptism and you know what baptism signifies that is when you accept christ as your lord a personal savior and you want to switch from your old deeds to a new life you need to be baptized you need to convict yourself and say that i've taken god christ as my lord and personal savior so that was being in the water that was what is symbolized mm. and the third part was when we were in the third part is when we're in when we're in the garden doing all white which sim- symbolizes purity after after being baptized now the they, they are they are children of God, and being co- called a child of God, you are created in God's own image. So He gave His He came to die for us, giving exchanging His His cleanness for our our debts. So that part of the video symbolizes cleanness. It symbolizes holiness. Wow, that is a really um, thoughtful detailed breakdown of the video that's the three steps in the music video fantastic but that, that's like an in-depth breakdown of the video yeah. right there you know now guys go watch the video again guys and, and now with what kobe salma shared watch the video is going to make a lot more sense to you right now i see we're running out of time let me quickly pop these questions to you real quick all right i'm going to ask you uh, two questions or three questions yeah. and you must not think about it okay, just cool. answer straight so wearing corporate <laughs> <laughs> having, okay. to, having to wear corporate a corporate outfit or casual Casual. Casual. Um, Android or Apple or iOS? iOS. iOS. Okay, now the third question, you probably didn't expect this. What track is number 14 on your album? (laughs) (laughs) Got you. Next, what track is number five? What track is number five on your album? Number five. GSO. GSO. What track is number 18 on your album? <laughs> number 18. <laughs> number 18 should be great. Um, God Day. Number 18 should be God Day. Yeah, you got it. 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 Anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you so much, Kobe Salam. I had a good time chatting with you on the show today. Um, and we do hope that the purpose for which God has given you this album, we pray that it will be fulfilled in the lives of everyone who listens to it in Amen. Jesus' name. PraiseWorldRadio.com. <laughs>